Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome to the Orville Interactive Fan Project. Yep, you heard that right. Today we're checking out this really cool free-to-play game on Steam where you can walk around the inside of the Orville Starship and obviously the TV show The Orville. And my, is it fantastic. Fun fact, this is made by the same team who brought you the Stage 9 interactive experience. That was unfortunately cancelled due to a few things, you can check out my video on that. That project was about exploring the inner workings of the USS Enterprise D from, of course, Star Trek. Well, since the cancellation of that project, the team have been keeping themselves busy. They're called Messy Desk Interactive, by the way, and they've been making the Orville Fan Project. And wow, is it amazing. You can walk around, explore the different rooms, and this ship is just simply amazing. Today we're going to jump in, check it out, see what we can find, and go from there. A reminder, if you do want to download this and play it for yourself, the link's down below in the description. It's available on Steam as well, no complicated downloads or anything like that, and it is really cool. So, let's take a look. So I'm going to start game. Uh, we've got Union Dockyard, The Void, The Soul System, on Asteroid Field. Hmm, okay. Well, I think we'll see Union Dockyard today. Uh, seems like a basic one. Here we go. Boom. Right. One thing, I've turned off the music, by the way, because I'm not sure whether it's copyrighted or not, but I'll find that out at some other point. So boom, we have beamed into uh, Captain Ed Mercer's quarters, and this is the captain's quarters. Now, just a heads up, I am not a massive Orville fan, I love it, don't get me wrong, but I am not full up on the lore, so if I do get anything wrong, feel free to remind me down below in the comments. So, this is the captain's quarters here, and you can see he has the bed, the chair, and also we can go down here. We've also got the other area of the quarters, very nice. We've got a bit of a replicator going on. I don't think we can replicate anything, can we? Maybe the replicators aren't working. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Um, right. <laughs> we, 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 we've got pickles. Okay. Well, there you go. See, so a lot of the set is interactive, so you can walk around, press buttons, and just have a fun time of things. You can pick this up, and then just throw it across the room. There we go. Stuff that. So we're in the planetary union dockyard currently. Very nice. So the benefit of this is we can freely explore the ship. There you go. We're out of here. Got sick bear cross in here. We can open that up. There we go. Now you're probably thinking, hang on a minute, why is the captain's bedroom right next door to sick bay? Well, at the moment, this project is in very early development, so therefore they've been keeping things of how it's set up on the soundstage. What that means is how it's set up in the recording studio. So, typically in the recording studio, you wouldn't build the entire starship, because that'd be a waste of money. Instead, they build the corridors and put the rooms just off of each corridor. Makes sense. That's why sick bay is so close to the captain's quarters. There we go. We can set here, we've got the side of the ship and the planetary union dockyard. Very nice. Station over there. What have we got here? This is coming soon, okay. So some areas aren't accessible yet, which is fine. I think this is a turbolift, isn't it? Yep, I can't go in there because the music might be copyrighted. Uh, we've got different areas around here. This is closed off. Coming soon. Yeah, well, this area is coming soon. Okay, fair enough. We can explore some sections later. This is the sick bay again. We've already walked in. Well, we didn't really take a look at it, did we? Okay, so we've got the chief medical officer's office here. You can sit down here. There's a gun. Oh, we, we could use a gun. Probably not best we use that, to be honest. There might be a few accidents. Let's just leave that there. All right, let's open up. So as you got here, someone would be sitting down, like needing medical treatment. Very nice. And as you got more medical beds over here, very nice. Can we pick up any of this? I don't, I don't think we can. Okay, probably best to leave it there, to be honest. Very nice. Uh, oh, there's another replicator here. What can we get? <laughs> We've got a potted plant this time. Yay! Let's just chuck that across the room. We don't need that. None of that stuff in here. No time for that. Bunch of stuff on here. Computer panels. Very nice. All the interactive screens are really cool. I like them. Alright, what do we got going up here? There's the stairway back up to deck 2 there. We'll go up there in a memento. False door. Now I believe this is... Bortus' quarters. Oh, we need to open. Can we do auto? There we go. Hello, so this is Bortus' quarters here. This is where him and, uh, is it Clyden? Clyden? Clyden, I think it is. I forget how the name's pronounced. We'll be living. They have all their stuff in here. The kitchen, the table, the chairs where we watch TV. It's like, show me something that'll make me happy. And, you know, various things like that. I don't open up. There you go. Then it's a bed. Lovely pictures of, um, I forgot what the planet's called now. You, I'll stick it on screen when I remember it. Downside of not watching so much Orville is, I don't know, I think. I'm typically a bigger Star Trek fan than anything else. Oh, there's a science lab here. I think this is Isaac's lab, isn't it? Yes. Oh, look at the sound. Now, one thing, all the sounds and sort of effects are visually accurate and sound like they are from the Orville. The team here at Messi's S Interactive really pay close attention to how they put these things together. They did it with the Enterprise, and they've done it again with the Orville. It is just so accurate, and I love it. It's like the banana ray thing here again, isn't it? Very nice. We've got the screens. Very cool. And we've got a bit of a door out here. Nice bit of a curved corridor. So, uh, what's this here? Is this anything? Oh, it's sick bear again. Okay. So we can run around here. There's a bit of a curved corridor. Now, I believe 
This is a mess hall. Yep, here we go. Looking very good. Oh, there's a gun on the table here. Oh, I've got a, I've got a laser rifle. Fuck you, cactus. There we go. Okay, so yeah, this is mess hall. Uh, we could just walk in from there. We can walk in there. Kind of like the 10 Ford from Star Trek this is. You can you know, sit at a chair, eat stuff. This is where you see the crew, like, serving themselves drinks. We're going to see that coffee cup there. Boom, there we go. Can we shoot stuff off of a bar? It's like a shooting range, but for bottles. No, okay, they're fixed models. All right, we can't shoot stuff off a bar. But you've obviously got the replicators and stuff here as well. Very nice. Okay, I'm just throwing the gun down there for a second, because carrying it around would kind of get a bit annoying. Why are they just leaving pistols and phasers and everything here? What the hell's going on? Okay, so that's the mess hall. You've got your replicators and stuff in here. We can see more of the dockyard, which is very nice. And obviously, our focus is on the Orville here. It looks pretty cool. I like it. We can go back into this curved corridor, and I want to make my way up to the bridge, because I want to show you some settings up there. Then we might do the shuttle bay and main engineering. In fact, before I go to the bridge, I'll leave that till last. We'll leave the best till last. I will show you engineering. Uh, let's just cut the sound here for a minute, as I'm not sure... Oh no, it's just holodeck. Oh, um, elevator music. Okay. Right, let's go to engineering and the eSIM. Whoop, here we go. So I believe this is the eSIM over here. This is kind of like their version of a holodeck, so obviously you can't call it holodeck. I'm not sure anything in here works yet, or I'm not sure how to activate it, but I guess it'll be coming at another time. Very nice. Now down this way, I believe, is main engineering. We can see the quantum drive, or whatever it's called. Again, not that big of a fan of the oval, so I can't remember all the technical details just yet. But here we go, this is main engineering. You've got the consoles here, very nice. You can see the oval there. You've got all the technical systems and readouts. And also you've got the massive drive over here. And just stood next to this. I'll let you listen to it for a second. There we go, that sounds amazing. I love it. There you go. Tons of screens here. So yeah, this is main engineering, and I like it to be honest. It's a very cool engineering setup. You've got tons of buttons over here. Not too much interactive in here yet. I don't think there's anything we can press. It's going along, yeah. Nothing I can press down here just yet. Can't, like, send the ship into disarray by messing with the engine room controls. But it does look quite cool. Anyway, back out into this corridor. We've got something coming soon down there. Okay, cool. We'll go check out the shuttle bay in the meantime. Like I said, don't forget, this is a heavily in-development fan project. And things are coming at a good pace, which is nice. It's good they've got a release on Steam. And it looks really cool. I do love the elevator music. However, I don't think I can play some of it for you. Excellent. So this is V coming soon again. I believe the main shuttle bay is just here. Aha! This is the shuttle bay. Also, we've of course got the signature Orville shuttle here. Looking fantastic. I love these chairs. I know where they've got those from. The set design from the actual show. They look like those gaming chairs you can get on Amazon for really cheap. I'm not sure if that's the intention, but anyway, that looks really cool and I like it. So there's a shuttle. Now, I, mean, I don't think we can launch the shuttle out of the bay, unfortunately. But uh, I believe we can open the bay doors. If we just go here, hit that button. There you go, the bay doors are opening. And we can see at the back of the orbital. Now, obviously, you can see the quantum drive parts there. One, two, three. Very nice. Obviously, we can't jump out just... No, no, can't jump out. I tried. We can't get out of there just yet. But I suppose at later date, we might be able to take the shuttle out and fly it around. Oh, the hell, what the hell just happened? I think I slipped on something. What the fuck happened there? What the fuck? That must be for ragdoll physics. Like, <laughs> okay, um, that's an interesting one. I apparently could fall over there when I step on stuff. Didn't know that. That kind of caught me by surprise. Uh, there's a lift here, apparently. I'm not sure any of this works just yet. No, it doesn't. Oh, the doors closed by themselves. Okay. Awesome, we'll leave them there for a minute. Shuttle bay is there, I think that's coming soon. Okay, we'll head back to the bridge in a minute, and I can show you how all the bridge systems, including the red alert. Let's do engineering and, oh no, it's sick bay and missile. Okay, so we're back on deck one now, or deck B, I think it is, or A, I'm not sure. I had a bit of an issue with the turbolift, so I just had to quickly reload. Again, still an in-development project, so give it some time. So we've got the captain's office over here, which we can open up. Ta-da, this is Ed Mercer's office. Got the Kermit the Frog on the desk there, lovely window views, and obviously you've got his model of the Orville over here, which looks really cool. We can take it off the desk and just throw it across the room. Fuck you, Orville. There we go. <laughs> Variety of books and stuff on here as well, including a replicator. What can we replicate today? Another possible plan. We're in excess of them, apparently. You can also pick up things on his desk and throw them on the room here. Very nice. He's got a model plane. Let's just throw that somewhere. There we go. We don't need that. Meanwhile, there's a few other things over here. I think this is storage. Yep, that's locked. We can't access that yet. But I do believe we have a conference room here. Yep, here we go, the conference room. So you can be Ed Mercer running out, grabbing a pistol and running back in again. Quite cool. Conference room there. I believe this is storage again. And I think this is the classroom, isn't it? There you go, this is the classroom. 
this is accurate to the show. They've got the right pictures over here as well. I believe, did believe in a development studio mentioned the chairs aren't there just yet, but again, it's something to come at a later date. So fun fact, you can actually jump into multiplayer with friends and play this game at the moment. You can pick up a longbow and test out your marksmanship, and you can see you can hold the bridge the longest. I might be doing some of that, it'd be pretty cool. But anyway, speaking of a bridge, we are now on board. You've got the stations up here, very nice, various other things. Now, one cool thing, I'm just going to go and press it right away, is... Red alert! There we go. Now, the music typically would play, but I've turned it off just for copyright reasons. I'm not sure if it is copyrighted or not. We can test it at a later date. You can see if a ship goes to red alert mode, including all the corridors as well. I do believe even in the office it'll go to red alert. We just check inside. Yep, all the lights in there, indication lights, very nice. So we are in full red alert mode, and boy, does it look amazing. We've got a yellow alert, there you go, we're just on standby. You've got the helm up here as well. I'm not sure we can fly around in here. Oh yeah, we can fly around, okay. We're flying the oval, everyone. Let's take her out of here, Mr. Ensign. <laughs> this is actually really cool. I didn't think we could fly around. We're coming in way too close there. Hopefully we didn't need that part. So I'll just park ourselves here, it'll be fine. Uh, nope, this way. The controls, they're not responding, Cam. Come on, steady. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I'm just going to get up a chair. I, I don't think we needed whatever that. And is anything on fire? It looks fine to me, to be honest. Let's just go to the day shift lighting. There we go. Conditional. There we go. Cool. So you can sit in the captain's chair here, and obviously you can be Ed Mercer. I'm not sure why the body glitched that there. Pretty cool. Got some controls there, and of course a coffee cup. Boop. Throw that across the room. Ta da! But yeah, tons of systems you can play with. It's really cool. I love how we've got like a Krill shuttle or a Krill destroyer, or just a starship in general on the screen here. Obviously the tactical display. Very nice party mode. I'm not sure why we have a party mode, but I guess that's part of it. Looks pretty cool regardless. So yeah, this has been the Orville. It is looking fantastic so far. Again, if you want to download this and play with it yourself, it is available via Steam. You can get it today. Again, multiplayer is an option. Really cool. You've got breathtaking views on the mess hall, like the, you know, what we showed out of there, which is quite cool. You can also send the ship into disarray with a variety of different alert modes, like the red alert mode, which is quite cool. Uh, the original score. Okay, so the original score is completely free in this game, so I guess I could use it, but obviously we'll check it out at another point. Multiplayer in-game is text-based chat, which is quite cool. Now, coming soon... They can have the ability to explore a ship in a reimagined as a fully working starship, so every deck and every room will be fully accessible. Obviously that will come at a later date, this is a fan project so give them time. Fully a native roomscape VR is coming at some point, that'll be pretty cool, can't wait to check this out in VR. You can also sit at the helm, take the ship for a spin, very nice, I like the idea of that. And of course, fully functional environmental simulator, so you can run the simulations from the show, basically the sim like we checked it out. This is a fantastic project, and the team behind it are doing some fantastic work. Congratulations to Messy Desk Interactive, you have made a fantastic fan project, and I'm sure fans of the Orville will love this. It does look amazing. Again, check it out for yourself. The link is down below in the team description. For now, I've been Captain Jack. Thank you for joining me today, and of course, I'll be back very soon to keep an eye on this project and see how it goes. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.